today we will be doing the first problem from the graph playlist that is right here from lead code that is the first problem flood fill and the prerequisite is dfs for this problem we can also do it with dfs obviously i'll be going on to the dfs example one okay so what is this question trying to tell us flood fill 733 three. an image is represented by an m cross an integer grid image where image of ij represents the pixel value of the image we are also given three integers source sr sc and color you should perform a flood fill on the image starting from the pixel image of srsc and to perform a flood fill we can move to any of the four directions starting from the pixel of the same color plus any direction with the same color and we just need to replace the color of the aforementioned pixels with the same color and return the modified image performing the flood fill now what is this algorithm uh, question trying to tell us so they'll give you a coordinate at first and this coordinate has been mentioned by sr and sc so this is the coordinate that has been mentioned by them and that coordinate will have some value okay so what you need to do is starting from this box right here or this pixel whatever you want to call it you will be moving on four directionally and what does this four directionally mean up to the right to the left and to the down okay so you can move in any of the four directions and what do you need to do you just need to color them with some color and what is that color and what is one more condition if you move any four directionally up down or left or right you need to make sure that it is of the same color as this one that means where you are starting from if that color value is one right now you when you move ahead you need to make sure that the next guy that where you wherever you are moving it also has to be one fine so here we can move when here we can move we cannot move to the right why because it is zero so we cannot move here and we cannot move down as well right so we'll be only moving to up and left right and what will be the values after changing it and mind you when we are moving up and left we also make sure that this value is changed and why have i changed it to two they'll mention your color also okay so which you have to change it into so now this value right here this one and one will be changed to what two and two right now we know that we have moved here as well as here now we can move to which directions from here so from this two let's just consider this two right here that is this one from here we can move where we can move down or right or left right we can move in these three direction and why not up because it will be out of bounds which is, uh, which is uh, pretty clear right why will we not move down see first of all here we have already marked it as two why will i bother to go there again right why will i just waste my iteration so we'll just move to the left and to the right and we'll color them with two that is done now this part is done now what you see is that this part right here was left now can we go somewhere can we go up and let's see that i'll just erase this part as well and i'll just change the color as well now if you see that right here this part was also marked as two now a dfs for this part was left that means i'm here i'm here i'm here as well now i need to move four four directionally from each of the points now can i move four directionally from this point if you see we cannot why so because if we move left it is already marked right is out of bound down is not possible because it is zero which is not equal to the value that is one again we cannot move down it is again marked now if we move down what we see from this position we get a one and we can surely mark this as two why because it is actually the value which was previously given to us where we were starting from right so that is why we can mark this as two and after you have done all the operation you see it has been transformed into this matrix right here and this one will remain as it is why because there is no cell from which we can reach by anyhow and mind this four directionally moving is only by one step we cannot say that okay we are allowed to move down we cannot just say we will take two steps down okay 
this is not possible you can only just take one step at a time fine four directionally one step at a time fine so this is the whole walkthrough of how we're gonna do it now let's get on to the code part as well so the code part is pretty uh, simple so i hope you have already seen the dfs one right you know the concept of dfs because that is what we'll be requiring here so if you have the basic concept of dfs this will be a cakewalk for you so coming on to this part what have i done i've taken a previous value and what is this previous value saying let's come to the diagram again they have said that each value which has one to it you move four directionally and color them with two right so this is my initial value which i need to take care of wherever i find one next i'll be coloring only those part okay so that is why i've taken a previous value which is maintaining the color of my previous or which i need to check for everyone okay now i just simply to uh, uh, call the dfs function and what is this df function uh, dfs function carrying the image vector or array that has been given to us the src from where we are starting that is the point that is src and the color that is what we need to color it with and the previous is what the uh, color of the starting cell the color of the starting cell was what one right so whenever we encounter a one anytime we will do what we will change it to the color that has been given to us now coming on to this part that is the dfs now the function call i've explained you what is it doing now coming on to these part what is this doing this is simply doing a boundary check that means as i said uh, while we were moving we were also moving up down left and right right and we encountered a problem at some point we were moving out of bounds right and if you try to move out of bound what will happen it will give you an error obviously so we also need to take care of the cases where it goes out of bounds at some point if it is going out of bounds what do we need to do we just need to return back because we cannot do any coloring there right so this is the boundary checks that i have maintained right here now what is this part doing see while explaining i also explain you this that when i encounter a same color that is when i was having these types of thing let's just say this 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 uh and i'll just change the color again now let's just say we are right here and we want to move left and right fine and this is also marked as two so do i need to mark this two again obviously not right because it is already marked two why will i mark it again why will i mark it again okay so that is one of the part we need to take care of and also there is a two right here can we move down obviously not why so because it is not of the same color as the beginning cell and where we were beginning from we were beginning from here that is one right everyone should be equals to one if i want to color them and this is not equals to one why will we color that right even if we can move we will not color that why because it is not equals to the beginning cell value so this is the part where i'm taking care of that that is if the image of 5j is equals to the color that means it is of the same value and if it is not equals to the p previous we just return back that means if i have already colored it this is the part where it says if i have already colored it do not go there and if the value is not equals to the color that we were starting from we just return back so these are the two conditions and if all of the conditions have passed that is it is not violating any of them it is a valid cell what do we do we just make sure that the color is changed from one to two and whatever the color might be from here right and after that we are doing a simple dfs in all the four direction that is we are going down left up and right so this dfs can also be written in a for loop but I, for simplicity i've just written this but further on to the next questions i'll be using the uh, for loop part and i'll be explaining you how to use that also okay so this part is right here it is going where this part is just going to the right i'll be writing this down as well this is going left okay and this is going where this is going up and this is going down so these are the dfs calls that are happening right here and if you just submit this it will get accepted okay i've already submitted the code as well and if you want the code it will be in the description link there as well and yeah if you enjoyed and uh, learned something from this and you did understand the explanation please do like and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching and come back tomorrow you'll get the video for number of islands as well and the next card as well 
okay so number of islands is today only so sorry for that you'll be getting it today only and make sure to come back tomorrow because we'll be continuing it with max area of island number of closed island okay so you and me both will be learning side by side and the same time okay and yeah thank you for watching